it's Lavon. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm visiting Juice in downtown Altoona. I'm actually right outside the building because there's a mural on the wall. This is Jen Rivnack. She's my 11th Avenue neighbor and she is the owner of Juice. And we're just gonna find a little bit out about Juice. I've been working with Jen on just some different projects for a while now. Yeah. And so, um, I'm just here to uh, tell you a little bit about her business and actually talk a little bit about mine in a way. Yes. So, um, so how long has Juice been a thing? So we've been a thing uh, since 2017, so three years. We actually oh, okay. just passed our three year anniversary in April. Oh, happy anniversary. Thank you. We didn't do anything this no. year, obviously. <laughs> we had a coronavirus <laughs> anniversary. Right. So, but we've been here since August in Altoona. Yeah. Yeah. So oh, I'm we'll aware hopefully of that celebrate <laughs> that one. Oh, you for know. sure. Yeah. It's hard to believe that's coming up. On so the Jen and I were sitting on this yeah. really cool furniture yeah. I, I was yeah. able to get and paint for her. Uh, and I also was able to do some of my repurposed light fixtures. I painted the fabric and the wood on the furniture and Jen also was able to get a really cool piece of um, another Victorian sectional. There's some more lighting. Yeah, so we kind of got established as a juice bar, like that was going to be our thing, is that, uh, and we do have that, it's uh, fresh cold pressed juices, Okay. Um, and then once we got open, very quickly, the most popular items became the smoothies and the smoothie Please. bowls, yeah. yeah, so that menu has progressed quite extensively, Yeah. Um, so everything here, our philosophy behind everything that we serve here is that it's just, it's a whole food product, so we don't follow any specific like dietary restrictions. You know, if you come in and ask me calories or macros, I'm probably not going to be able to answer your question. Wait, what's your points? Wait, my case? Points. Points, probably not. Um, so our focus really is just about taking in a whole unprocessed single ingredient food. So, and we okay. take that as far as like we really try. We make all of our own stuff, all of our own nut milks, our own coconut milk, all of our granolas, raw and cooked, everything is made here. Um, so that there's just really no no preservatives, no you know any of that filler right. in anything that you get. <laughs> That's yeah, always yeah, my we concern. don't. Yep, yeah, we don't do we don't do gluten. Everything is plant based, and that just kind of happened because when we opened in Holidaysburg, we had no cooking facilities. So it's just like a it's like a coffee shop, and we have a kitchen, but no cooking facility. So it kind of presented this challenge of everything we serve. Being so all raw throughout the space, you'll yeah, find that things kind of that are just yeah. unique. Jen liked my bare lampshades, so <laughs> I was able to dig up a few of those out of the basement. And Jen collected things a lot of places. There's a repurposed drawer bookshelf that I did for her. And here's some work by a local artist. Such awesome work that we're really blessed with talent around here. The space is so zen and inviting. Everywhere you turn, there's really something cool to look at. I was happy to be able to be a part of that. I did lots of mirrors for Jen. She knew she wanted a lot of mirrors. And I love these. I didn't do them, but I did some cozies for the chains. Cool little corners everywhere you turn. the word juice in the dictionary oh, it's the phonetic spelling yeah it's literally like that is what you see when you look it up in the dictionary yes. it's got the lines and oh slashes and exactly so, so when i was trying to come up with a name i sat in the middle of my living room with dictionaries and thesauruses and a bottle of wine and that's all what... you needed was google <laughs> I, I used uh, yeah i used uh, and I of course your wine. Like google. i had my wine yeah uh, but it was the dictionary that i was like yeah i think this will work is so everything's natural and it's just like you come in here and it's such a, a zen <laughs> experience yeah 
so um, I'm yeah, fortunate to be part of that experience. Yeah. Yes, I, I helped out with that. But yeah. Like, so, you know, I should be asking you questions, but I do have to tell you, I mm -hmm. love your sense of style. Um, so you come to me to ask me for some uh, decor help from time to time, yeah. but you you pretty much always know what you want. Yeah. But yet you give me the freedom that yeah. you trust when you say vaguely weird what I want. Yeah. Well, because it's very similar. I think a lot of the things, and I mean, the reason I came to you is because I like the stuff that you were already putting out, you know? Yeah. So it was just, um, and that's just kind of, I would prefer to work with somebody that has like a specific sense of style. I don't like to say, hey, here's what I want. Because I was going to do that, I would just do it myself. But, yeah, you know, yeah. it's like, it's fun to see other people creating things that are unique and different and fun and colorful and, you know, yeah. and then utilize that. Yeah, so. and the other part of it, too, is so you're uh, part of being natural and then you're very green. So uh, you're using, repurposing, that's, yeah. uh, you know, that's yeah. what I'm all about, too. So, yeah. so that's why it worked out really well. Yep. Yep. So, what else do you want to tell me about juice? Oh boy. Um, I mean, this is just kind of like my happy place. It should be. It's it is. beautiful. Yeah. It's just a really cool vibe in here. And, yeah. You know, I got to come in and do a few things before you were even open, so I got to see the layers coming yeah. in. And, and so that was really cool. And then just everything else has just been icing on the gluten-free cupcake. And yeah, <laughs> right. And it's just, I mean, it's an interesting time right now with small businesses kind of going through what they're going through, you know, to kind of talk about, like, even what got me here in the first place. Because I had a corporate job. I had a very well-paying, very, you know, yeah. good, lucrative job. I hated <laughs> Yeah. I hated it. And like just my mental health was going south. It was very, very stressful. The people that I was around were not like the best for me. Yeah. You know, and so at some point, um, I made the choice to like, okay, I need I need to I need to plan my way out. Yeah. And it's just kind of interesting how that happens sometimes with like aligned with certain people and their things that, you know, present themselves. And so I, I ended up like I was always interested in healthy eating mm -hmm. and how the food choices that you make can affect you physically and mentally. And so it's you know, I meant food in general. Yeah. Um, that's my question, just kind of staying on a positive note. So what have you Gained during this time, this quarantine time, this closing down time. Um. So, you mean like personally, or from a business perspective, uh, or both? both okay. I mean, yeah. personally, probably the biggest change that I noticed for me. So, you know, I went from this corporate job that I told you about into this, which is still very demanding. You know, when you think about it, twenty four seven. And I realized after this happened and we shut down, I realized that the way I woke up every morning. I woke up, we have a seven-year-old, obviously she's in school, and then we're running all these businesses and all this stuff going on, and every morning I would wake up in almost like a panic instantly, and, and I would just be like, okay, what time is it? What time do I have to leave? Where do I have to be? Does she have school? Does she have, like, you know, like yeah. all this stuff. Does she have gym class today? Does she need to wear sneakers? Um, and I never had this, like, relaxing wake up, uh, and it took about three days for me home and not having to get up with an alarm or go to school or pack yeah. lunches. Uh, and then I was, that, that that's when it occurred to me, I was like, oh my God, I woke up like that every day. Yeah. Like even now, like with that like sense of panic. Yeah. So that went away. Yeah. And I'm going to make sure that that stays away. Like I will, even as we kind of ramp back up and things kind of start to get back to normal, I'm not going to let um, my time be dictated by, I, everything's just going to Kind of circulate around what I need for my life to be yeah. happy. So there's you know. the first piece I did for Jen, and I had to add more patina to the counter. Um, they were the original ceiling tiles, and Jen wanted a patina finish on them, so I uh, started lightly at first, and Jen wanted more, so it turned out great, I think. There's Jen doing her thing. And there's the good stuff. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Peanut butter, banana. Mm. I like it when 
sometimes I'll see her with boots and I'll just go a couple of boots in it and then you get that kind of chunky, mm. chewy feet in there, which I love. Thanks for watching. I can help you with your commercial space too. Hey <laughs> Jen. Is this live or is this video? Uh, this is video, oh, but right. I can edit it. Okay. <laughs> so. This is the best level. That's okay. <laughs> Hi Jen. Hi. <laughs>